Hi, my name is John Stone and I work for EcoDrive Transmissions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to detect an air leak on an Aerostronic shift actuator and how to rectify the problem. Obviously when this uh, gearbox is in the vehicle, you will have your own pneumatic air feed from the vehicle side and also you'll have your electrical connections from the clutch booster and the vehicle side of things. For this demonstration what I want to do is energise the system with pneumatic air so I'm just going to use this adapter to show where to detect the air leak. Screw my adapter in. Just gonna switch the tap off for the time being and put my pneumatic air feed in. Switch the tap on and what you can see from the breathing system of the actual gearbox the air is blowing straight through the system, okay, that shouldn't happen. So what we need to do is remove the shift actuator and replace the bottom half of the actual uh, shift actuator itself. Remove my pneumatic air feed. Obviously in the vehicle to remove the actual shift actuator you need to remove your electrical connections as well. What I need to do then is remove the 15 headed 13 mil bolt. Crack them on. What you'll notice is when you're undoing these is the front end is actually spring loaded so it will lift a little bit. Doesn't matter which order you do these in, I just need them all out. There you go. So what we're doing now is removing all the bolts. You'll notice that there's two different lengths at the back end of the shift actuator are the shorter ones. So remove all them and put them to one side for easier fitment later. And then at the front end are your longer bolts where the housing lifts up. There we go. So that's released the complete actuator. So what we want to do now is because we're only changing the bottom half is actually remove the lid from the bottom half. So that's done by removing these, T, these two T30 torque screws. This is the only thing what secures the <coughs> upper half to the bottom half once the bolts are released. So what we're going to be doing then is with these slots here, which you won't see, but you just lift the upper half and slot it in. And that reveals these two ribbon connections. Be careful when you're doing this because these are very fragile. So you just need to rock them out of the connections nice and gently. And what that actually does is release the upper half from the lower half. As we said, this is the faulty item. So we can put that to one side because that's going to be refitted to the service exchange uh, shift actuator bottom half. When these fail, they're normally in the neutral position, so you can just check that by moving this back and forth. That it's in the neutral position. That, that's important for when you refit it. But what we do then is we just lift the complete bottom half away, being careful of your gaskets. So you can get your service exchange bottom half from EcoDrive Transmissions. <laughs>